Oh, shit. that was good soup. Day eight, limited edition strawberries. Do you like the dried strawberries in your cereal? Dude, yes, with bananas. Yeah. Berries, and then let's do some banana. We'll see if this one works. I've never dehydrated banana, so we'll see how that one goes. I honestly think this is gonna turn brown. We'll see, but the strawberries will be great. Strawberry. Okay, into the dehydrator they go. Bye-bye. All right, this is gonna piss off a lot of people, probably, dude, because we're making cereal and we're calling it soup. Cold soup? <laughs> it's cold soup. This was Michael's idea, so blame him. Everyone in the comments down below, tell him that <laughs> cereal's not soup. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take uh, some oats. These are just, you know, regular pressed oats, whatever, into the blender. Soup is just hot cereal. <laughs> and then one quart of water. Uh, this is four cups. Best measuring cup ever, by the way. Another one of my favorite kitchen tools is the quart container. I drink out of these all the time. And this is how I measure things. This is like, this is two cups, this is four cups, this is one cup, this is three cups. I can tell right away. Anyways, we've got water, we've got oats. Now I've got some vanilla bean paste. You can do vanilla extract if you don't have that. And I'm just gonna do a touch of that. Let's call it a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste in there. And then I've got maple sugar. If you don't have maple sugar, go buy some. We have it on our website, spiceology.com. If you don't wanna do that, just use some brown sugar. Let's call it two tablespoons of that. And of course, this is all depending on your sweetness level. You don't even have to add it if you don't want it to be sweet. So got that in there, got that in there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and close that sucker up and then give her a blend. Now we do not want to blend the shit out of this because then it'll get weird and slimy. That's something that happens with the oats, you know? So blend it just enough till it breaks apart, okay? And we're gonna get a strainer. Strainer, don't forget your strainer. Also, don't forget to like the video. And we get that, pour that through there. And this is pretty much all there is to it. Oat milk, it's really simple. We also wanna try to not get all that sediment. Let all the sediment sink to the bottom. We don't want that. We don't wanna do any squeezing like when we do with uh, nut milks. You guys ever made nut milk before? You usually like squeeze the bag and all that stuff. Michael's laughing over there. <laughs> you know what's wrong with saying nut milk? Anyways, unlike nut milk, <laughs> Now I can see. <laughs> Unlike nut milk, you don't want to squeeze the, the shit out. You want to like, just let the sediment kind of sink to the bottom because that's going to have like this weird slimy texture once again. So as you can see, there's our oat milk. And we'll keep going. I just tossed out all that sediment. And all that I'll probably just get rid of because that's mostly sediment. Now, if you wanted to, here's a trigger warning in the comments. People freak out whenever I use this. So like, oh, this is bad for you, blah, blah, blah. It's not, it's fine. You could use xanthan gum if you wanted to and blend it, create a vortex, do a touch of xanthan, and you'll have a thicker oat milk for like steaming for lattes and stuff like that. If you notice at the stores, they sell barista style oat milk that usually just has xanthan as a thickener, as a stabilizer. So you can do latte art and stuff, but we're not doing that today. We're just making regular oat milk. This is going straight in the fridge. Gonna chill this up. All right. You ready for the noise? Doesn't sound like Harry Potter to me. I don't know why people say that. Anyways, back to this. Got a little pot and then here's my rice oil. A lot of people ask me, what do you do with all that leftover oil? This is what I do right here. I've got a metal container. This is called a bane. I dump it in here, slap the cover on it. I set it back there and that's where it stays. Also, I make sure to filter it through a strainer like this. This is a very good way to save your oil. Reuse your oil, people. Until it turns dark brown, that's when you wanna to toss it in the trash. Just gonna do some rice oil. Okay, now over here, Michael, I've got pearled barley. Now this stuff is gonna puff up really nice. And then I have forbidden rice. You can't just buy black rice. Make sure it's called forbidden rice when you buy this stuff. This stuff will puff up when you fry it up, okay? So we're gonna just fry this and we're gonna fry that. And that's gonna be our cereal right there. It's gonna be really good. If you wanted to use regular white jasmine rice, you would cook the rice off first then dehydrate it in the dehydrator and then you'd be able to fry it off. But this is way simpler. We just take it from raw. Make sure our oil is really hot. I want it to be around 375, 400, around that area. If you toss it in right now, now it's just gonna sit in there and then it'll just burn. Gotta make sure it's hot. So what I'm doing here is I'm preparing my landing pad. I've got a bowl and I'm just gonna toss in maple sugar, then maybe a touch of salt. And that's gonna be my landing pad. I want them to go into here and then I'll just give them a little tossy toss. And it'll be coated in maple sugar, it'll be delicious. Okay, we're starting off with the barley. I have this at around 425 degrees, by the way. 
Fry these off in small batches. Don't be a hero. Just do enough because it will pop. And now on to the forbidden rice. See how it just puffs right up onto our little landing pad. Then do a little more puffy puffs. A little puff, puff, pass, puff, puff, pass. Over and over again. That's all we're doing. There you go. Puff, puff, pass. It's looking good so far. Smells like kettle corn, huh? Smells pretty good. And we might do a touch of salt, just a touch. Now we're just gonna cool our cereal off completely. We got cereal. <laughs> or wait, no, 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 this is soup. Soup, this is soup. Cold soup. <laughs> Cold soup. Butter. Butter box. What are you doing? You still don't know what I'm doing? No. You'll see. You're making a cereal box. Yes. <laughs> I'm making a cereal box out of a butter box. That's what I'm doing. We're gonna sell this shit, right? Handmade boxes. Comment down below, we should sell this cereal. Handmade boxes, it'll only take us a week to make 10 orders. Dope. What's, what's the day? Uh, eight. I think it's eight, hold on. Yes, eight. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Bro, it's perfect. There's our cereal box right there. Now, what's a good cereal without chocolate, right? Do you guys remember when I used to do this? Okay, now, what bowl? Should we do fishy bowl? Should we do regular white bowl? We do this cool, I don't even know what you call it, bowl. This one, this one's kind of cool. I like right? that one. Yeah, that one's cool too. Mm, we'll do this one fishy. Yeah, why not? Let's get our oat oats, milk. All right, what goes first? Milk or cereal? Comment down below. I think people that put milk first are fucking crazy, by the way. Just... <laughs> what are you doing? And you guys remember the strawberries, right? Check them out. And the bananas, they, they kind of look like shit. We're not gonna go with them. There, yeah, let's not do the bananas. And then, chocolate. There we go, let's get a pretty little thumbnail shot right there. Might look cooler on this, honestly. How's that? Or that? How's that look? Comment down below, which one's our thumbnail? Which one do you like more? It's for you, Michael. You get the Thank fishy. You. Okay, see how that is. Oh, shit. that was good soup. That worked, that really did work. Hmm, you wanna try it? Not yeah. hot enough. This is really good though. It works really well. Mm. Smash the like, subscribe.